Hello and welcome to the Mint Report. This is our wrap-up of the day's business news. Here are the top stories. Pradna Mukherjee says no to restrictions on foreign capital inflows. Supreme Court cancels bail of Ramalinga Raju. And markets lose ground even as RIL stock makes modest gains. India is unlikely to place controls on all the foreign money pouring into the country. On Tuesday, Finance Minister Pranag Mukherjee said he was not considering any caps on foreign institutional investors. He said that India had faced such situations in the past and had dealt with them without having to employ more stringent actions. They include putting restrictions on FIIs. Mukherjee's statement comes at a time when other Asian countries like Thailand are levying new taxes on sovereign bonds owned by foreigners. India's current account deficit in the first quarter stood at $13.7 billion, which is roughly 3.7 percent of its GDP. Also on the economy, the RBI says India's food inflation is structural. Deputy Governor Subir Gukharan said increasing prices of commodities that don't have effective replacements would in turn drive up inflation in food items. India's food price index climbed more than 15 percent in the week ending on the 9th of October. And in other news, Satyam founder B. Ramalinga Raju will go back to jail. The Supreme Court has canceled Raju's bail along with those of five others accused in the Satyam accounting fraud. Its decision came after the CBI told it Raju and the others were interfering in the investigation. It claimed he was trying to unload his assets while out of prison and that he was putting pressure on witnesses. The Andhra Pradesh High Court had granted Raju bail back in August. He and the other accused have until the 8th of November to surrender. Raju has been behind bars since January of 2009 when he confessed to a role in the Satyam accounting fraud. Meanwhile, the government has met its target with the Coal India IPO. It has managed to raise about 15,200 crores from its sale of more than 600 million shares. Coal India will start trading on the bourses on the 4th of November. And finally, Indian bourses fell on Tuesday in an expectation of a possible hike in policy rates. The Sensex lost 82 points to close at 20,221, and the Nifty lost 24 to finish at 6,082. But not all stocks lost ground on Tuesday. RILs gained 0.56 on the BSA to close at just under 1,100, and Maruti Suzuki shares went up 3.6 to close trade at 1,562 rupees and 85 pesi. And that's all we have for you. Thanks for watching.